who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed too. Now a first down throw, Fields. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Now second and four. Looking to throw, Fields. He gets it complete to Harris. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 28. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. They've got a first down in field goal range already. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So he's unable to complete it there, and just not the game that you would expect from him. He's been off the mark really start to finish. Yeah, it makes you wonder what exactly is going on. Is he a little bit dinged up here, or is he just off just by a bit? Maybe he can get it back in this situation. He'll need to. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Boswell's kick is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth. But there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they scored too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. So now the Bears down 9-7, to seven, a minute 39 to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. to throw. This secondary is a unit. They've worked really well together in this one, especially late. A lot of cohesiveness, a lot of communication, and some great athleticism. They're playing so well now, a nickname is sure to follow. They're going to have to name this whole unit soon. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the run. Just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field. Can... Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And they have the football and will set up shot at the 33 yard line. They brought the house that time on the young rookie, maybe a little rattled through the pick. And you have to be prepared for a lot of pressure as a rookie quarterback because most defensive coordinators are going to test you that way. So when you see that, the ball's got to get out of your hands quickly, and that means your receivers have to understand they have to break off their routes quickly as well. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Down right around the 25. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. And they'll go jet sweep to try to pick it up. Now the Bears will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. 
So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. Boswell's kick is good. And of course, up to 12-7. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight about that. If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. And a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself how you show your team that you're still with it and how you continue to lead. They'll try again here. Second and ten. He'll look to throw. Finding out. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Throw left side complete. That's more. Here's first down. He's back to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That was the big shot for the end zone. You've still got a little bit of time here. You have to expect we'll see another. And remember, no timeouts left. So if you throw it short of the end zone and you're tackled, that's going to be the ball game. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's going to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command him, make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to cut multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, and this is nervous time now. They decided to go for it right there. Fortunately, still a little bit of time left for another shot. But this one almost certainly has to be in the end zone. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They, they're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they've got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week in practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, and when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. Now, nowhere for Fields to turn, and down he goes. Andrew Billings in there to make the sack on what will be the final act in this ball game. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it was their defense that really paved the way to this victory as they allowed the one touchdown, and that was all she wrote. Almost want to do the defense chant right now, right? Defense with a couple of claps in there, but no one wants to hear that from me. Let's just talk about how they got it done, though. When you take care of every aspect of the game, shut down the run, control the air 